Eczema, also known as atopic dermatitis, is a chronic inflammatory skin disease. In fact, the leading cause of healthy years of life lost due to common skin diseases, because it's just so common, affecting about a fifth of us. And it's not just an itchy rash, it's associated with other diseases too. Yes, it can be itchy, exhausting, embarrassing, but in kids may increase risk for ADHD, though that may just be from the sleep deprivation, and in adults may increase the risk of major depression. And it's on the rise. There are drugs for it, of course. There are always drugs. Steroids are the first-line therapy. But then there are immunosuppressants as well, with more in the drug pipeline. You know the medical profession is desperate when they're forced to go back to the basics and start applying leeches to people. Previously, I talked about the safety and efficacy of other more natural treatments, but what about diet? Our story begins in 1920, a year doctors were realizing how good this oxygen stuff was, though maybe not as good as injecting people with mercury. But a researcher at Johns Hopkins reported a number of cases in which by omitting eggs, meat, and milk from the diet, patients' eczema improved. Who's going to profit off of that, though? No wonder it took 58 years before it was put to the test. Figuring eggs and milk were the two foods most likely involved in eczema, they excluded them and chicken and beef, since it may just be chicken and cow proteins more generally. In a randomized, double-blind controlled trial swapping in soy milk instead, and 70% of the patients improved. One person got worse on the no egg, no chicken, no milk, no beef diet, but almost everyone else got better. So the researchers conclude that for many kids, avoiding those foods may induce a clinical improvement. And interestingly, it didn't seem to depend on whether allergy tests showed that they were allergic to milk and eggs. Either way, they tended to get better regardless. You can do randomized double-blind food challenges, where you like give kids with eczema various foods in opaque capsules, like one with egg powder, one with wheat powder, etc. And egg was found by far to be the most offending food. For example, in this study where they just cut out the eggs, dramatic improvements were documented for both the amount of skin involvement and the severity of the eczema lesions after removing eggs from the diet. But in about 90% of cases, the mom had no idea that eggs were a problem. Why? Because it wasn't like they were eating scrambled eggs or something. Almost all the egg exposure was hidden. Uh, they were exposed to hidden egg products and like you know, packaged foods, and so they had no idea why their eczema was so bad until this study where they removed all eggs and egg products from their diet. Eggs are evidently the most frequent cause of food sensitivity in children. Out of hundreds of kids with eczema tested, egg allergy was documented in two-thirds of those with sensitivities. In fact, a child having a blood reaction to egg white proteins appears to be one of the best laboratory tests for predicting future allergic diseases in general. It appears to be the ovomucoid protein within egg white that seems to be causing most of the mischief. About 40% of kids with eczema have some form of food allergy, and the more food allergies they have, the more likely it appears they're going to suffer from eczema and make it worse. Those who react to cow's milk protein are significantly more likely to suffer severe eczema, showing the important role cow's milk proteins may play in the induction and increased severity of eczema in children. Often parents switch from cow's milk to goat's milk in an attempt to improve their children's eczema, but goat's milk should never be given to kids with cow's milk allergy because they often cross-react with one another, which has been confirmed with double-blind placebo-controlled food challenges. Ass milk, on the other hand, is a different story. Switching kids to donkey milk improved their eczema, and for that matter, horses' milk might as well.